can't help but just thinking, like, was there ever a moment in Trump's circle, or just the president himself, when he thought, how am I going to deal with Michael Cohen? Was there a moment when he decided, I'm going to cut this guy off, right. I'm going to vilify him publicly, I'm going to attack him? Uh, it's just such an incredibly confounding miscalculation. If, if the calculation was made, it could be one of the great, one of the most devastating miscalculations Absolutely. of all time. The investigator's chore is to really establish individual acts of criminality and to involve the uppermost levels, the actual leader of that organization, whether it's an organized crime crew, or a crooked bank, or a drug cartel, or the President of the United States, the the United States, United States yeah. is that person's direct involvement, giving orders, communicating, um, making it clear to those lieutenants around him exactly what he wants done. And in fact, those are the kinds of conversations that, that Michael related uh, during the testimony. The use of coded communications, that in itself is evidence to investigators, right? That is an indicator of criminal mentality and knowledge of the fact that you are trying to obfuscate what you're actually doing is a very bad sign. So sitting here today as a private citizen, mm -hmm. but you know, one who's really well informed. Do you still think the president's a potential threat to the national security of the United States of America? I haven't seen anything that resolves or mitigates my initial concerns. Right. And, in, and quite the opposite is true, right? I've seen a number of things that were I still um, involved with investigations would increase my suspicion and my concern. All of us kind of want to believe that the guardrails are holding. Sure, right? yeah. So do you still have faith in the system to produce an outcome with respect to this president that is going to be just? Yeah. I do. I have to, John. I have to. Look, I have faith in the people that are still there. I have faith, certainly, in Director Mueller and the people on his team, the folks at the FBI who support them. I think because of the peculiarities of the special counsel's status, it is possible that what we'll see is a shift, right? A, you know, there may come a time when Mueller says, hey, I'm at the end of my remit, but I've referred these 16 matters to the Southern District and to the Eastern District of Virginia. And so we'll see the effort continue just in other hands. So I don't think this story is even close to being fully written.